Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time we're going to test out Chromium OS on a Raspberry Pi 4. Chromium OS is a web-based open source operating system that's designed to be fast, simple and secure. Chromium OS is also the foundation for Chrome OS that runs on Chromebook laptops. So, Let's go and take a closer look. Chromium OS began its life in November 2009, when Google decided to open source the development of its Chrome OS web-based operating system. So, just as the Chromium browser is an open source version of Google Chrome, so Chromium OS is an open source version of Chrome OS. Both initiatives come under the banner of the Chromium Project, which has a website over here, where as you see, we can click on the web pages for Chromium OS. And the thing you'll notice here, that these are fairly technical resources, all intended for developers. But fortunately for us, a company called FidoS have developed Chromium OS for the Raspberry Pi, which they maintain here on GitHub. Again, these pages are mainly for developers. This is fairly technical stuff, but there is another page they have over here, which contains images for the Raspberry Pi 3B, 3B+, 4B, and Pi 400. And of course, I'll give you a link to this page in the video description. It's also worth noting that FidoS have produced a commercial product called FidoS 4U Raspberry Pi 400, which is a Chromium-based operating system that runs, as you can guess, on the Raspberry Pi 400. And this has got a 90-day trial period, after which there is an annual subscription, which at the time of making this video is on a promotion at $12.99 a year. And I may well look at FidoS 4U Raspberry Pi 400 in a video in the future, but this video will focus solely on the entirely free Chromium OS for Raspberry Pi. So let's go down to the download section, which is somewhere down here. There we are, there's our download. So we'll download the image and save it in my Raspberry Pi download folder, which is getting quite crowded. So we'll save it like that. And with the download complete, I'm going to bring up Belena Etcher, where I'll select the image. Where is it? Down uh, there, that's the one, Chromium OS, Raspberry Pi, etc. I've already inserted a microSD card into my laptop, which we can write the image to. Remember, when you write an image file to a microSD card, it'll delete everything on the card. But we'll now click on Flash. Windows will check we want to do it. Yes, we do. And Etcher will create and then verify a Chromium OS boot media for a Raspberry Pi 4. Right, let's now take our micro SD card and insert it into a Raspberry Pi 4. There we go. And I'll now turn on the power. And hopefully we will now boot up. Yes, it seems things are happening. There's little lights on the Pi. You can't see that. I can. Oh yes, we've got the Pi Spectrum. We're now booting into Chromium OS. And because this is our first boot, oh look, it says Chromium. Because it is our first boot, we'll have to enter things like our Wi-Fi details to get online, but also details of a Google account. And, oh look, we're here, we've got an exciting animation. I'm just going to change my language here to English, United Kingdom, and also my keyboard to UK, or I have problems entering an email address. There we are. As you can see, the interface here has been designed by members of the very small fonts society, but we can, I'm sure, fix the scaling later on. So for now, we'll just click on Get Started. And we need to connect to a network, so I'll just get on with that. There we go, and it's checking for updates. There we are. Who's going to use this Chromebox? I think it will be me indeed, so I'll click on Next. And we now need to sign in. And the reason we need to sign in is that Chromium OS is a web-based operating system. So if you're not prepared to give details of a Google account, you shouldn't be using Chromium OS. So I'll just put in the details of one of my many Google accounts. And I just need to go through a little bit of a two-step verification. Unless it's in there on a tablet with a Google prompt. 
and oh look, there we are, we're ready, we can get started. That's exciting, isn't it? And here we are in Chromium OS, and it seems that the installer hasn't quite closed itself down, so we'll give it a little hand, but here we are on the Chromium OS desktop. And I can now go down to the bottom corner over here and go into settings up there, and if we go to device, and we go to displays, we can actually set the size of font so it can be seen by an average human being. There we are, we've got a better size of display. And this is basically it. Chromium OS is a browser-based, a web-based operating system. So we've obviously got a browser down here we can access. We've got our file manager if we want to look at files. I mean, nothing on this system yet, but we could look at it there if we wanted to. We can pull up this thing, which is called the shelf, and we can do things like a Google search. We can get to our file, to the browser, to settings, as we just saw. Let's just launch the browser again, just to prove it works. Can we get to the world's favorite website? It seems we can, and we can learn about SBCs like the Raspberry Pi 4. Yes, it seems things are working. And so for now, I think that's enough excitement with Chrome OS for one segment of the video. And so I'll show you the important thing. How do you shut things down? We've got a shutdown button just over here. So we'll come out of Chrome OS and I'll come back to you in the next segment of the video. Greetings. Here I am back again. Shall we reboot the Pi with Chromium OS? Yes, let's do that. And the reason I wanted to come out and boot up again was to show you the boot speed on a typical boot. So I'll hit the power. There we go. And we'll see how long it takes to boot up this time. Very exciting. I've got things rigged up here via a video mixer. So I was recording the Pi when it was off, which is a clever trick, isn't it? All sorts of things you can do with technology these days. There we are, we've arrived at the Chromium logo. How long will it take to get to the Chromium operating system itself? There we are, that was pretty quick, wasn't it? Just over 20 seconds. And from here, I seem to have become a penguin. I could log in, as you, as you would guess, but I also want to show you that in Chromium OS, you don't have to log in, you can browse as guest. So if I click down here to browse as guest, it will let me through, like that. And this will give us a web-based session, which as it explains here, won't do anything to my browser history, anything we save, any cookies that get saved will disappear after the session. So this is actually quite handy if people want to use the machine who don't want to put in the details of their Google account, or if you just want a quick browsing session where nothing will be recorded. Let's go to uh, explaining the future.com if I can uh, type that right. No, I can't, I can type it wrong. Best to type it right, Chris, it always works better that way. There we are, what a strange mood I'm in today. Yes, we've got to the Explaining the Future website. So there we are, I proved we can browse as a guest in Chromium OS. Guess what? Here I am back again, and as you can see, I've changed my desktop background, changed the wallpaper. If I right click here, there's all sorts of lovely wallpapers available to use in Chromium OS on the Pi. And I think I'll also change the settings for what's called the shelf, the uh, taskbar, the panel down here. Right clicking again, we can change its position if we wanted to, but I'm going to auto hide the shelf so we've got more space to work with on our screen when we're using a web browser. And as you can see, I've been trying out different applications, basically online applications, because that's what we run in Chromium OS. Here I am accessing Google Drive, and here are various documents, including the script file for this very video, which is strange to see in this very video, but I've opened up this file from a few weeks ago, which is my Windows 365 video script file, and it's perfectly possible to work very happily here in Google Docs in Chrome OS on a Raspberry Pi. We can, of course, also access Gmail because we're on a system where we've logged in with a Google account, but here I've gone to my Microsoft Mail, which comes up perfectly happily as well. And we can from here access things like the online versions of Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. And just to prove that, here is the online version of Word running like that, the online version of Excel with some very important data, and the online version of PowerPoint. So basically, if the software you need to use has got a SaaS, a software as a service version, you can use it here in Chrome OS on a Raspberry Pi. 
we just minimize that, you might have noticed I've added some applications down here to the shelf. I've done that by going to the software store, the web store over here. Just bring that up. That shows us all the different things we can add to Chromium, the Chrome web store like that. All sorts of things are available. And uh, let's just get rid of that, be tidy. And the ones I've added are Photopia, which is like a Photoshop alternative, which runs in a browser. Very nice package. I've gone through this in detail on my video on Photoshop alternatives. Got great Photoshop compatibility. And let's just do a new document like that and bring that up. There we are. And uh, what should we do? Let's scribble with a brush. Where's the brush gone, Christopher? It's, oh, it's up there. Look, there we are. And we can just uh, scribble with a brush. Isn't that exciting? Yes, we could do things here in this uh, Photoshop alternative. I've also, let's get rid of that. As you can see, added YouTube, got to add YouTube. And the thing you'll notice when we bring these apps up is they aren't running with an address bar. We're not in Chromium here, but we can go into Chromium if we wish like that. And therefore we're seeing things with the address bar. And I think I'll just bring up, just because I'm sure you want to know what would happen, my test clip, which we so often use in these videos. Can we play the test clip? I'll just get it running for you. Here it is. Let's just try and take it up to 1080p and we'll bring up stats for nerds. How well will it play? It's not doing too bad so far, actually. There are some drop frames, as you can see, but not very many. This is pretty reasonable playback in a browser in Chrome OS here on a Raspberry Pi. So I'm quite impressed with that. We'll let that continue to play along, making that strange 3D printed food thing whilst a steam engine does its sting in the foreground. But uh, there we are. 1080p YouTube playback is not too bad here in Chromium OS on a Raspberry Pi 4. Now, a few weeks ago on the channel, I made a video about Windows 365, the new online version of Windows. And many people asked me in the comments on that video, could you access Windows 365 from a Raspberry Pi? And so as I'm now on a Raspberry Pi in a video, in a web-based operating system no less, I thought we'd try it out. I bought myself a one-month subscription to Windows 365 to try it out. It hasn't come to an end yet, so let's make use of it. So let's bring up a web browser where, as you can see, I've gone to the Windows 365 website and brought up the page that shows my cloud PC. So let's uh, access it in a browser, see if it works here on the Pi, and hopefully it will. We will find out in a second. And I'll just have to log in. There we go. And here we are in Windows 365 on the Raspberry Pi. It's not quite scaled the screen correctly. Let's try and do a, does that help us? Now we've still got a slight problem now we can't see everything on the screen at once, but never mind. And we can get to a menu. This is quite reasonably responsive, I think. We will see, let's run something up. What have we got to run up? We've got the, uh, let's run up the photo app, but this is responsive. This is certainly usable. So the answer is, can you run Windows 365 on the Raspberry Pi 4, the answer is yes, you can, because that's what we're doing here. We've got a crystal disk mark sitting there. We can run that up and uh, that'll work, hopefully. Yes, we could do a disk speed test if we wanted to on our cloud PC. We've done that already. I don't think we'll do it again. Anyway, it proves a point, doesn't it? Let's open up my PC. Everything is still there and uh, things are working. Oh, look. Microsoft Windows wants to, uh, I would guess, update itself. We have to be running a real version of Windows if it wants to update itself. Anyway, we proved a point. It's possible to access Windows 365 on a Raspberry Pi, here specifically running Chromium OS. Chromium OS for Raspberry Pi brings a Chromebook-like experience to our favorite single board computer. And if you want to turn a Raspberry Pi into a fast boot web console, then it's a great choice of operating system. But now that's it for another video. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, please press that like button. 
If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.